going to be doing a hummingbird watercolor. This is different. I'm going to be doing it with dry watercolor paints. And then at the end, I'll be smearing it with some water. So we'll have that smeared effect. So first, make sure you have your palette ready with your colors. Get a picture of a hummingbird. You shouldn't have to draw the hummingbird, but if you feel more confident drawing it first with like a pencil lightly, then you can. But this you can really do freehand because hummingbirds are proportional, disproportional anyway. So first, I would do an eye with black and then draw a beak. You could do that before or after. It depends if you want the black to smear along with the rest of the colors. I've done a couple already where I put the black before and smeared the other colors. But this time I'm not going to be doing that. I'm just going to pretend that there's an eye there. So if you're going to be doing that, I would recommend just putting, uh, if I had number two, pencil. Okay, this is fine. No, it's not fine. Um, just like draw lightly where you're going to have the eye and where you're going to have a beak so you could go along those routes. Like that. Okay. Just double checking to see what I'm doing. Um, just kind of move the camera. Nope. Okay. So make sure your brush is dry. You still need a cup of water to wash the brush in between the colors you're changing, but make sure you have a paper towel near you so you could dry it. First, I will be making the hummingbird. Um, I'll make it blue. So first, you don't really, you could either paint it like this, or you could just dot it like I do. It just depends how you like doing it. There's no like perfect way of doing it or anything. So I'm just going to add some blue all around here. Just gonna try to get that curve the hummingbird has on its head. Like this. I'm gonna add a darker blue around the nah, I don't want to. Here. I'm gonna add some green, I guess. Green. I'm just kinda going along here. Whatever. Green. I need more green. I don't like this green. Ah. Green. And take some green with my paintbrush, and I'm gonna put it around where the eye should be, like this. And I'm just gonna dot it around here too. Now, some spots you really have to cover each and every part of the body of the hummingbird with color because when it smears, that part will cover the color anyway. So I'm just going to now draw the wing. I think I'm going to like skip a little space here and draw the wing down here. And with the wing, you want to make sure you are going along with like the, the shape of the wing and the perspective. So the wing is kind of going out like towards me, this one right here. So I'm going to just put where it connects to the body. And then I'm going to do a swoop like that. And swoop. And it kind of gets shorter as it faces me. Like that. And then I'm going to do a really long one like that. And then a bunch of other short ones. Now I'm going to add some bright color like yellow and kind of dot it around the purple just because I want to and then here I'm going to dot the rest of the body with yellow here this is where the body should be I'm going to add some green it's okay if the brush is dirty with two different colors especially if they're similar it doesn't really matter and continue it down here and maybe add some down here a little here okay now I'm going to, for the tail, I'm going to add this pink and for the tail, let me just get the camera here. For the tail, since the, the hummingbird kind of has a broader 
sort of tail feather. I'm going to smash the brush here, around here should be fine. Smash the brush and kind of go over like that. Smash it like this. And then make it a little bit round here. I don't know if you can tell. Get some more paint. Smash. Pull. And smash. Pull. Smash. Pull. I think you kind of get the idea. I can't paint and hold this thing at the same time. Um, like that, and like that. That should be good. So there's our hummingbird. It's fine if it's this plain. And then I'm also going to make a flower. And I kind of like this red flower I've been doing where it's just red and then the orange and yellow. So I put the camera back. Like that. Now this flower can be really simple. It's more red. You could do any flower, but I like this flower. Okay, I'm really sorry that collapsed on me, but yeah. For this, I just kind of paint. Paint it like normal, petal by petal. And you can either do it really dark or really light, depending how much you want it to smear. I might not even smear the flower, it depends how I feel in a few minutes, but I kind of like it when it's just like vibrant, so I might not put water on it. I just have to be careful with where I put the water. And then I'm going to add some yellow just to define some parts in my flower. So here's the flower. And I'm going to go like this. And I'll add a little bit of orange. Oh, my orange is kind of dry. Mm. Okay. Then I'm going to add a little bit green. Just a little green. There we go. So this is what it looks like right now. And I'm going to go and smear it. 